بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله رب العالمين والصلاة والسلام على سيدنا محمد وعلى آله وأصحابه أجمعين. So inshallah today I'm just going to review with you guys level D Quran the weekend one. Of course the Surah Al-Fatiha is the first surah as we always go. In the beginning, that is the Surah Al-Fatiha, which was the first surah also been put in Quran. So therefore, it is uh, mandatory for every student to memorize Surah Al-Fatiha, because without this surah, the prayer cannot be accepted. So, inshallah, uh, we already memorized this surah, as you know, in C2. I'm going to recite quickly, inshallah. And uh, if any of the brothers who are new in level D, then he can go in, uh, in the video of uh, C2 Quran and he can listen to the Fatiha in detail. Here we're just going to recite, of course, as we mentioned in previous video, here I'm just going to read the, the names of the Surah and when was the Surah revealed and the meaning of the Surah and what we, the quick fact, facts about the Surah and what we understand from the Surah. This is all you will find in the, in a book in the level D Quran weekend one, inshallah. Okay, so let's start with the with recitation. We start as we always start with istiada, then basmala, and then we read Surah Al-Fatiha. <coughs> أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم. بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله رب العالمين الرحمن الرحيم مالك يوم الدين إياك نعبد وإياك نستعين إهدنا الصراط المستقيم صراط الذين أنعمت عليهم غير المغضوب عليهم ولا الضالين آمين. Usually we say آمين in a prayer. We pray it loudly in like an Fajr, Maghrib, Isha. But it's not Amin. It's not part of the Surah Al-Fatiha. All right. So this is how we recite the Surah Al-Fatiha. As you already know, if you know the details of every letter, then you will go and refer to the uh, video C2 of Quran Weekend 1. Okay. Now also as a review we have from the C2 Quran, we have Surah Al-Ayatul Kursi, which is from Surah Al-Baqarah, Ayat 255. So this Surah is very important. As we mentioned before, we recite this Surah after the prayers and also when we sleep. And this is very powerful Surah. So we own it to ourselves to memorize it and to use it insha'Allah. So Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala can protect us from the shayateenul insi, shayateenul insi wal jinn. Alright, let's recite this surah quickly insha'Allah. As you all know, just min babu al-baraka. A'udhu billahi min ash-shaytanir rajeem. Pay attention how I read. الله لا إله إلا هو الحي القيوم لا تأخذه سنة ولا نوم له ما في السماوات وما في الأرض من ذا الذي يشفع عنده إلا بإذنه يعلم ما بين أيديهم وما خلفهم 
ولا يحيطون بشيء من علمه إلا بما شاء وسع كرسيه السماوات والأرض ولا يؤده حفظهما وهو العلي العظيم So this is recitation of Ayatul Kursi. So you have to listen carefully and make sure you follow the rules. You have to read the way how we read it and the mudud as I explained in the video C2 Quran mudud what needs to become if the med after med there is a hamza then we recite those mudud four count and if there is no hamza then we go natural med as you all know all right now also what we learned from the lessons in in, in, in quran d we also learn huruf al med fi awail al surah the huruf muqatta'at the letters what we have in the beginning of the surah this is ayat here we read the names we read the names of the surah the names of the letter we need the names of the letter and not the sound of the letters like for example we see this letter here we say sad because this is sad this is the name of the letter this is qaf is the name of the letter so the name of the letter we have the name of the letter we have a shape of the letter which is in a Sad in beginning, sad in the middle, sad in the end, connected, one is separated. And also we have the sound of the letter, which else, else, yes, ash. This sound of the letter with sukun, that is the sound of the letter. Because when I say she, that is the sound of the fatha after the shin. But the sound of the shin is ash, ash. So you determine the, the letter. Is a strength or is a so, uh, soft or is between? Or is between? This is the characteristics of the letters we're going to learn, inshallah. So, here, as you see, on top of the letters, there is be put a sign of med. Usually, this sign of med was written, actually, was written med. It was like this written before, as you see it in here. One of the old calligraphy was written mim dal, med, med. Then there on, later on, the head of the meme was removed and the dal was stringed, as we see it in, in here. And then later on, we have it now in this shape, which is, here is meme and here is the dal. Med, med, that's how the letter come. Uh, this med, sign of med came. And now you see it in Quran like this. So every time you have uh, this sign on the top of the letter, this letter must be elongated six count six count in huruf muqatta'at each of this is ayah on the quran there are 14 of them so for example when i read this sad i end up with the dal with qalqala because dal sakin is qalqala qaf i end up with the fa with sukun is a rikhwa soft letter Noon. You see, I read the name of the letter. Now we are ha mim. There are two letters together. Ha does not have mad. Mim has mad. So we read it. Ha mim. Here both ta and ha. They don't have mad. None above. So we say ta ha. Ta ha. Only two count. Here. Yasin, Yasin, Alif, Lam, Mim. So here Alif, Lam, end up with Mim, and the Mim begin with Mim. So in this case, we basically we read it like this. In here alif la mim we read it like this alif this is the name of alif lam last letter of the lam we have a meme then the first letter of the meme is another meme so when there are two meme together we make it we merge these two that's why the second meme has shed the 
here so we hold it that's how we read it we do not write it like this it's written like this but that's how we read it alif lam mim yes so it's very important to know these rules now when you come to here I'm sorry when you come to here same thing alif lam ra lam ra ta mim so what happened ta no mad sin end up with nun sakina and followed by mim so basically here ta si mim so we read it ta ta to count sin nun sakina followed by mim we make it gram we merge the nun to the mim so the nun become mim so we say ta si mim you didn't hear the nun yes ta si That's how we read this letter. So it's very important to pay attention when we read this letter. So same thing here. Ayn qaf. So Ayn end up with Noon. Sin. Noon followed by Sin. This is Ikhfa. So I have to hide the Noon on the Sin. Qaf. So the noon of the sin I hide it also on the qaf. Same thing here. Alif Lam Mim Sad. This is all six count because the med is on top. Alif Lam Mim Ra. The rules here of the Tejweed we have to apply. Then we have here Kaf Ha Ya Ayn Sad. So basically, you see the letters how we read this one. Kaf has med. Ha Ya doesn't have med. Then Ayn, Ayn, followed by Sad. So we make Ikhfa here, we hide the Noon on Sad, then the Dal of the Sad with the Qalqala. Kaf, Ha, Ya, Ayn, Sad. One more time. This one, we read it like this. Kaf ha ya This is the rules which you have to apply when you recite this huruf al muqattaat This is parts of the of the Quran, so we have to read it correctly. All right. So that's what we have learned so far in weekend. We can one from the Quran. So inshallah we continue in a weekend two of the Quran, which is the Surah Al Takathur. Hada wa sallallahu ala nabiyyina Muhammad wa ala alihi wa sahbi ajma'in. Assalamu alaikum.